This idea of changing the world might seem like it's really idealistic or lofty, but it's not as difficult as people might think. I think it's important for people to recognize exactly what this looks like. Yep, we've been working with our on-campus students on how they can change the world. Uh, Thomas has a really cool one. Now, he has a part-time job at the university. His job is to travel around to high school uh, students around uh, the state and give them a taste of what it's like to be at university. Now, after taking Think 101, he's realised that he's taught for the last couple of years hundreds of students ineffective learning strategies for, for how to learn. Now his Change the World project is to convince his boss to allow him to teach evidence-based learning strategies like we covered in episode 5, learning to learn, uh, to, to give students a, a head start in moving towards university. That's right. Uh, Lincoln is doing a cool project as well on scapegoating. Now, kind of blaming someone or some group for something that might have happened, but he's actually flipping it on its head. Uh, he's looking at systems like uh, climate change or the global financial crisis mm -hmm. that don't have agency, they don't have a face, right? So when you're trying to motivate people to do something about climate change, it's hard to do because there's nobody that you can point to, nothing that you can actually mm -hmm. um, direct your attention toward. And mm -hmm. so he's trying to figure out what you can do to change these agentless systems into something with an agent to Put motivate change. Yep, yep. Hannah's uh, is one of my favorite projects. I guarantee it will work. She works at a pharmacy and they hire uh, a full-time naturopath. But she wants to give people, her customers, the tools to make uh, evidence-based decisions for themselves. So she's come up with an idea to, to print these business cards that have a whole bunch of websites and tools that we discussed in previous episodes, like the Cochrane Library, to give people the tools to, to take control of their own decisions, to look at the evidence for treatments and drugs and decide for themselves what's going to work. That's right. So those are just a couple of examples of things that our students are doing, but they're the 200 people in the class are doing some really cool things like creating infographics or launching Facebook or social media campaigns. Yep. Uh, they are writing letters to the editor, um, to, to magazines, uh, figuring out the best way to, to, to fund charitable organizations. That's right. Petitioning governments. Yeah, yeah. Right? They, they're writing letters to, to newspapers, to magazines, right? Yep. This is what it looks like. It's not as difficult as it might seem, but if, again, if something sucks, if something's broken, don't get angry, right? Figure out what you're going to do about it. And right. what we want the people to do in this class, in Think 101, is the same thing. Instead of, you know, getting angry or feeling like you have no control, taking a little bit of time and doing a bit of research and figuring out what you're going to do about it, and then sharing that with us. So after the course is finished, we have three weeks for people to change the world. And then we want them to show us, to record a video, no longer than three minutes, and share with everybody exactly what they've done. Yep, and it doesn't need to be elaborate. The video could be as simple as taking your iPhone out or smartphone and looking down the barrel and telling us what you've done over the past three weeks to at least start to move towards changing the world. Tell us what you've done. Uh, you can sit down in front of a webcam at a computer, um, and there's all sorts of software tools that are available that can assist that. So right at the high end, you've got things like um, uh, Adobe Premiere Pro or even iPhoto. And right at the low end, you've got a really cool uh, tool called Adobe Voice. Yeah, Adobe Voice is actually fantastic. It's a matter of, uh, it's just for the iPad, I think, at the moment, but it's just holding down, down a button, telling your story, so it's just your voice, and then dragging in photos, uh, music, and it's, it looks amazing. And that's exactly what it's designed to do. Yep. There are other pieces of software like um, ScreenFlow, yep. right? As we said, Premiere Pro, things that we use in this course to film our episodes. That's the high end. But at the yep. low end, it's just taking out a smartphone or a laptop and, yep. and just sitting down for five minutes and actually just telling us what. Yep. what. They're often free programs as well, like Microsoft Movie Maker, uh, YouTube Capture um, is another good one. That's right. So net, once people have done this, we want them to actually upload their video. Mm. So it's a matter of going on to the next section that says upload your video and click the select video button and point to the file, right? And upload it. It's that easy. Um, we thought very carefully about the channel Talk factors about channel in this factors, one. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Uh, alternatively, if they use something like Adobe Voice or YouTube, then it's a matter of sharing the link. And so we provided a link 
uh, spot as well. Yep. So I think it's going to be pretty fantastic. Yeah, but the exciting thing about this is hopefully we are going to have hundreds, maybe even thousands of submissions of people just spending three minutes to tell us, to show us how they've, they've changed the world. And we're going to put all these together. We're going to showcase the work that our Think 101 students have done. And I'm it's excited. It's going to be awesome.